Welcome to the garage. Right now we will make a diagnostics of the Mercedes. We will use our tool. This is a tablet MS909 with a new interface. So we will connect the interface and we will start the diagnostics. So let's go, have a look. First of all, I will have to connect the interface and we will start. So let's do it. We are almost ready to make a diagnostics. Why almost? Because we have to switch on the ignition. So I will do it first. Okay. I select the diagnostics. I will use the function, the VIN scan number. So this is the auto detection. I will just click it and at the moment the car will be selected in an automatic way. One thing what I have to decide on is that I have one information what I have to give the system is the time of the vehicle and in this case it is a Mercedes Benz so I will select it. This window is used when we have to perform some diagnostics and some uh, calibration of ADAS because we can make a pre-check and after produce a final report. In this case, we will use a standalone diagnostics, uh, so there will be no calibration record as is written right here. I will confirm, okay? And right now, the software will find out the car for me. As you can see, the VIN number has been just read. So in this case, I will just connect the car using the key OK. And the tool will select the car by itself in an automatic way. Here we have a details. Right now I will press OK and we will enter to the principal menu. OK, we are in the principal menu. So we have uh, some functions. It is similar like we have seen already, if we have some experience, for example, with a 908S or 908S Pro. So it's almost equal. What do we have here? So there is a auto scan, there is a unit control. So in this case, we can select our control unit, what we want to make a diagnostics. There is other calibration, the common used functions, programming and retrofit. So let's have a look at the auto scan. When I will press the icon, immediately the tool will scan all the present system. Right here we have the structure of the CAN line. And in this case we can see interconnection between them. And even uh, there will be some information about what part of a can line is present so we can see even the legend are right here so there is a can diagnostics there is a can chassis powertrain telematics and so on so on so from this screen the mechanic can understand where the special uh, ECU is connected we can make that from here directly we can make a diagnostic so we can make a full scan and I will do it right now As you can see right now, in the module KLA, there is a one error because uh, right now we can see that there is an orange pair. So it means that in this specific ECU, we have a problem. And here is another news. We have uh, already done the full scan of all the systems. And if we will click right here on the list, we can see again, the list of all the instruments we have, so all the ECU. And right now we can even read the errors according to the specific ECU. It was not uh, available before. Right now we can read all the information, so all the errors that are present in each ECU. We will try to erase errors, so we can click uh, right here, uh, the quick erase, and look what will happen. But before I will start, I want to show you 
the intelligent diagnostic. These are quite new things what we have added in the last uh, line of, of our diagnostics instruments. So let's have a look. Right now I will make a quick iris. So let's have a look what will happen. The error is present and the error is telling us there is a problem with the air quantity sensor is faulty and uh, it is regarding to the uh, air conditioning system of course. In this case we have a, uh, this icon, I can click it and we will be able to get even some additional information. We have a DTC analysis so I can enter inside and here we have a description what can be the problem. So we have a DTC description, we have a fault description, we have a condition and other useful information what can be the problem. The tool gives us a hand which one direction should we go to resolve the problem. So let's have a look once again on the topology. If I want to know what are the abbreviation of each system I can just select one and I will get immediately information what is it. If I want to enter the, the communication with a specific ECU, I can press the arrow right here so I will be connected immediately or it is just enough to assign principal ECU and I can press enter the system and in this way we can enter the system uh, directly. So we have entered the system and we have uh, five different options. First of all is the ECU information. So in this case our tool will read the information what are stored already in the ECU. For example like a hardware number, software number and other, other useful information. Maybe uh, some of them will be useful even for mechanic but for sure it will be useful for a software developing for sure. We can exit and we can go to the trouble codes. In this case we've seen that there is no any uh, trouble codes because we just selected the same module. Uh, live data, so there will be uh, an access to take, uh, to select some parameters. In this case our philosophy is based on the OEM software and in this case we have already defined some logic groups and if I want, for example, uh, take a look on the fuel level, it is enough just to click it and we have exactly the information from the, uh, from the sensor. Let's select another thing, for example, supply voltage. Yeah, and in this case, we will get all the terminals uh, and the information uh, regarding to the um, uh, voltage of all the terminals present at the car. Let's go back.